Hello everyone, my name is Levin Quintens and I'm the Program Director from the School of Business and Economics for the Program Business Engineering. And I'm Helma Dilia, I'm the Program Director for Business Engineering from the Faculty of Science and Engineering. So what is business engineering and why do we have a program in business engineering? A couple of years ago we went into discussions with people from the industry and they were complaining about the fact that people who graduate from university either have knowledge on business or on engineering, but never on the combination of both. So we developed a program, Business Engineering, that combines the two worlds. So in this program, you will learn the business side and the engineering side. So how are we going to do that? We will be focusing on complex problems, because complex problems need to be analyzed in detail. And when you analyze these problems in detail, you very easily will find out that you need to understand the business principles, like cost calculations, but you also need to understand how products are made, so the engineering component. So in our program Business Engineering, we will, based on these complex problems, uh, um, learn you how to tackle them and how to solve them. Some special features of our program are the fact that we combine different skills in the program. So you will develop leadership skills, project management skills, data analysis skills in order to become a business engineer. The program Business Engineering is an interfaculty cooperation between the Faculty of Science and Engineering and the School of Business and Economics. That means that experts from both fields work closely together in order to prepare you for your future career. Now, let's take a look at a typical example of a business engineering case. When you follow the business engineering program, especially during tutorials, you will be faced with such a typical real-life problem. Imagine your normal 9 o'clock morning routine. Before going to your class, you go to the coffee machine and get your drink. But that particular morning, there is something odd. You see three possible containers for your coffee. We have a plastic cup, a paper cup and a ceramic mug. What will be the most sustainable choice? In order to tackle this problem, we have to combine different knowledge from science, engineering and business disciplines. Let me walk you through it. As a scientist, I will mainly look at the material science aspect of this case. I know how to make the coffee container, either a plastic one, a paper or a ceramic one. But each has its own advantages and disadvantages. For instance, a paper cup is made from wood. This typically costs a lot of natural resources, which cannot be replaced quickly but you can easily recycle them. For a plastic cup, we need less resources and have easy fabrication procedures, but after you use these, you need appropriate ways to recycle them as well. Lastly, for a ceramic mug, we need to use high temperatures to fabricate them, and with reusing this mug, you need to wash them, so you will use resources as well, such as water and energy. But this is not the only aspect. We should also look at the engineering side, because one mug only cannot provide all people in the world with their coffee. Therefore, we need engineers to create processes and machinery to produce millions of these coffee containers. Lastly, we should not forget to look at the business and economics part of the case, where we need to calculate the sustainability costs, the material costs and the profits for the organization that produces this coffee cup. So, what do you think? Which container will be your most sustainable option in the morning? Will you choose plastic, paper or ceramic? After a lot of research, we discovered that the plastic cup would be the most environmentally friendly choice, as long as you recycle them properly. So, how does your first year look like? A year is made out of six periods. Every period lasts for seven weeks, except for periods uh, three and period six. They will last for four weeks. In every period you will have two courses and one skills training. In the two courses you will learn more the theory. In the skills tr uh, trainings you will learn more how to uh, use and how to develop certain skills. The courses and the skills will work together. For instance, in the first skill, academic skills and project management, you'll learn how to uh, write in an academically correct way. Those skills will be applied directly in the courses. So for instance in the course Introduction to Business Engineering you will have an assignment where you will have to write up things in an academically correct way. So when you look at the curriculum you see three 
different types of colors. So you see the light blue ones, those are the courses. You see the middle blue ones, those are the skills. And you see the dark blue ones. The dark blue ones are the projects. And every uh, semester has four courses and a skill. And together they will prepare you for the project periods. The project periods are very intense uh, periods where you will learn and apply real life cases based on the, the elements that you will get from the different courses. So for instance, the first project that we will have is the project on marketing research. Um, and for the marketing research project, you will need different elements from courses and from the skills that uh, you had in the semester before. So for marketing research, you will have to apply certain elements from calculus and linear algebra, but also apply the, the skills that you learned, for instance, on project management. So every semester has thus four courses, a skills and a project. The projects are typically done in cooperation with companies at the Brightlands campuses. For those who are familiar with the province of Limburg, the Brightlands campuses are four campuses in, this, in the province of Limburg here in the Netherlands that are very well known for certain aspects on uh, medical devices, on chemistry, on um, food and health and on digitization. So on these aspects we will work together also with companies in the field that you also get a, a good insight in what companies in this region need and what the problems are that they are facing on a day-to-day -day basis. Also uh, we will go to labs. So in different courses, for instance in the course Fundamentals of Engineering, we will um, do experiments in labs, we will develop a program in 3D printing for instance and we will see eventually how that looks like as a prototype. So in the program we try to combine as much practical aspects as possible because that helps you later on in your career that you can also see not only the theoretical value of certain concepts and, for, and certain uh, practices, but also what are the practical consequences then of these theories and these uh, practices. When you look at the curriculum, you see that every course is obligatory. So in the first year, there is no chance for electives or other types of courses that you can follow besides these courses that you see here on the screen. Um, from year two onwards, there will be a number of electives. So, and in year three, there will be only be electives. So in this way, it gives you the opportunity to shape your own program. Because later, after you graduate from the Bachelor in Business Engineering, you will have to go to a master's program of your choice. And some of you might want to go into a master's program that is more business uh, related. So then it is more advisable to take electives that go into the area of finance, of marketing, of supply chain management, for instance. But others might be more interested in pursuing a master's degree in engineering. And those students, then have to uh, select more engineering courses, like mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and so on. So based on what you would like to do as a master's, we can shape together with you also um, the content of your bachelor uh, program. But the first year, as already said, is just a fixed, because everyone should have the knowledge on these different uh, topics. And as you can see, there is quite some mathematics in the program. We have linear algebra, we have calculus, we also have statistics in the program in year one. We will end year three with a thesis internship uh, project. The thesis internship project is an internship where you combine all the aspects that you learned in the first three years of the study. You can do that in a company here in the Netherlands, but you could also go abroad. You can also study abroad in year three. Then you can go to one of our partner universities, for instance, in Singapore, South Africa, or Canada. If you are very good in mathematics, then business engineering is definitely a program that uh, could be the program of your choice. So if you like to solve problems and you like to solve puzzles and things like that, you always have to, to analyze them. And if you analyze them, you typically make it simpler. And if you make it simpler, you understand better what you want to reach and what you want to, 
to, to, to get out of it. And in that case, if you make a very difficult problem very simple, that is actually what we will learn in business engineering. Business engineering is a typical interdisciplinary and interfaculty bachelor. So if you love to tackle innovative problems which are related to technological issues and business, you're on the right spot in this program.